I'm sitting here with UMass basketball standout, Raphael Putney. Raphael, thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. So I just want to start out last season against St. Bonaventure. Had an incredible alley-oop dunk pass from about half court. <laughs> yeah. Ridiculous. How did it feel to make the sports center top 10? Um, it was a exciting feeling, man. I was just my only top 10. I had two top 10s last year. The first one being St. Joseph. Actually, that, that one was actually, I guess, the best top 10 I ever had. Yeah. You know? Then came St. Bonaventure from half court, uh, live by Chaz Williams, our point guard now from Hofstra. But mm -hmm. um, it felt good. It was an exciting feeling, man. Um, I watched it over and over again that same night, you know. Um, I just, it was a big time achievement for me as well and as for my team, it was a good good thing for us. Now for <clears throat> both those top 10 replays, you watch, you watch those often still to this day? Um, nah, not, not as often, but when people ask about it, I just tell them go look on YouTube or anything like that. But now I just try to look at it, uh, that was in our past, you know, that was the goal that we achieved as a team and as me personally. And now I just look at this year, you know, we got more, plenty more top 10 plays ready for us. So I'm just hoping you miss fans can come support us and stuff. Definitely, definitely. Now, if you had to compare your game to one player in the NBA today, who do you think you compare to most? Um, I compare my game to Kevin Durant. Um, that's my favorite player, actually. Um, we both long. He's 6'11", I'm 6'10". You know, he's a shooter. I'm shooter slash slasher, so I like to shoot a lot. So I, be, I, I definitely compare my game to him. So I, I think that's, that's, that's definitely my, a solid yeah. guy to yeah, compare your game definitely. to. Absolutely. <laughs> now, you got a new freshman class that came in this year. Mm -hmm. Who's, who's the funniest freshman to come in so far? Um, the funniest, we got actually all of them are pretty funny. Like the funniest to me right now is um, Trey Davis. Um, he, um, he's from Dallas, Texas. Um, he's a rapper, a dancer, a comedian. He does it all for us. He it gives, all. like, on the spot where he make you laugh, he'll crack you up. Nice. All right, so living on campus, being around on campus, what's your favorite dining hall to go to on campus and your favorite food in that dining hall? Um, well, different times of the day, I would say for breakfast, it would definitely be um, Hamp. Um, they serve wonderful omelets. Um, then during lunchtime, and then I would say I would go to Burke. You know, I like the grilled chicken a lot, salad, um, the hamburgers, and definitely the sweet potato fries I eat a lot. Mm -hmm. So I, I like Burke a lot. So I would say Burke is my favorite dining hall. Is it to go to. tough for you to find a seat getting in Burke, walking oh, around? Oh, no, not at all. Um, we usually sit at, uh, I guess, there's a middleware between the stir fry and the burger. It's called the island, as we call it. Okay. And it's a long table in the middle, and we usually sit there as a team. A lot of students call it the athlete table, which is, I don't know where they get that from. I guess a lot of athletes sit there, yeah. but it's not really hard to sit there. But, you know, we, it's not really an athlete table, so we just, we just sit there just because. Just, cause, you just know? has become that. Yeah, exactly. All right, well, you got Derek Kellogg's your coach right now. He's doing a great job with the team. Also got a great mop of head, uh, mm -hmm. hair, you know? Looks yeah. really good. <laughs> if you have to compare his hair and John Calipari's, who, who do you like more? Oh, I'm definitely going with my coach DK. Yeah. You know, I, that's my man, you know? He always going to have the gel in his head, yeah. slick back, comb through, you know? Come game time, it's going to be... Uh, it's going to be a great sight to see yeah. everybody's attracted to his head, other than the players attracted to DK, so I like DK a lot. <laughs> That's the first thing to look for, that mop of hair. It's yeah, good. definitely. So you guys, you guys made a great run in the NIT last year, mm -hmm. made the Final Four. What's your expect, expectations for the team this season? How do you see you guys doing? Um, we expect to actually to win the Atlanta 10 Championship this year. You know, in the um, second round in our um, Atlanta 10 Championship, we knocked out the number one seed, Temple. And I feel this year we always, we're always still the underdogs, and a lot of people – still see us as the underdogs, even though we feel as though we got a target on our back, though. But um, I think we've just been working hard, getting our freshmen used to our offense, our defense, and um, we're just expected to get to the tournament after we win the Atlantic 10. Definitely. So we can expect some more alley yes, from you and Chad. Yes, definitely expect a lot of alley -oops. Awesome. Good to hear. Well, Raphael, I appreciate you uh, joining us. We'll definitely see you again this year. We'll see you on the court, so appreciate yeah. it.